Hello. Welcome to another chair yoga class. Uh, today, if you have your tennis ball available, we are going to use our tennis ball a little bit later. We need our chair and we need something to put underneath our feet so that our feet feel like we're connected. So I'm a little bit shorter than average. So when I'm sitting back in my chair, my feet don't really touch the floor very solidly, maybe just my toes. So that's why we use this block or a cushion from your couch or a, a thick book, right? A dictionary. Or if you're tall, you don't even need to worry about it. But in today's class, we're really going to focus on the sense of touch. And I know that when we're apart, we lose that connection with, with other, other people, right? When we get together in our classes, we might shake someone's hand when they come in. We might hug them. We might touch them on the back, right? All of that's gone right now. We've got the social distancing. We're staying at home. And that just doesn't mean, though, that we can't touch, right? So we still have that sense of touch within ourselves. And we're going to bring that focus. We're going to bring our focus to that today. That's the plan. Uh, I, I especially think of when we're in a very crowded chair yoga class and we're circle sweeping our arms up, how we always are careful not to hit our neighbors, but sometimes we do. So that kind of put a smile on my face today. Um, but let's get started. Sit back in your chair. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our hands and we're going to take our right palm on top of the left and let your thumbs touch. So we've got the right palm face up and the left palm face up and we're just going to drop one hand into the other let the thumbs touch close your eyes sit back into your chair let the hands rest in your lap in that uh, gesture and just take a moment to notice sensation of touch in the hands so notice the thumbs touching one another Notice how the back of the hand feels, cradled in the palm of the other hand. See if you can bring your awareness to the back of the hand that's just resting on top of your legs. And so we notice the sense of touch in the hands and the fingers, the thumbs specifically. And now move your awareness just to the rest of the body, just a general, how do we feel today physically? Notice any areas that might need our special attention today. And then we're gonna move to the breath. And today we're gonna work with a box breath. So if you'd like, open your eyes for a moment and, and I'll guide you through it and then we'll close our eyes and try a few by ourselves. So box breath is good to calm us, to bring us to that state of less anxiety. And what it requires is we're going to take a slow, deep, even breath, a four count inhale. I'm going to indicate that by, by pointing up. And then we hold and retain that breath for four counts. That's where we're going across. We exhale for four counts going down. And then we rest, neither inhaling nor exhaling for four counts. And see how I've drawn that neat box with my fingers. So again, the inhale is a four count. We exhale, I'm sorry, we pause and retain. We exhale for four counts. And we rest for four counts. Let's try it again. Inhale. Retain. Exhale. Rest. Close your eyes and try it. Inhale. Retain. Exhale. And rest. Inhale, retain, and let's try not to hike up the shoulders as we retain. Exhale, rest. One last one. Inhale, retain with shoulders and jaw soft. Exhale, and rest. 
and then just come back to a natural breath, whatever that is. Notice how that breathing made you feel. And we'll bring that right palm to heart center. We'll put the left palm on top of that and just take a moment right now and feel that connection, the hand to heart, and then that hand to the back of the other hand, bringing that awareness back to our sense of touch. And if you'd like to take a moment to set an intention for this practice, go ahead and do that now. A word, a phrase, a picture, one thing, whatever it is. And then release those hands back to your lap. Gently open your eyes. And we're going to scooch forward a little bit. So coming forward, moving the block off to the side. Feet are on the floor. Now, if you've been able to practice barefoot or in your socks, just take a moment right now and notice your feet touching the floor. Does it feel different from when your feet were touching the block or the cushion? Bring that awareness to that sense of touch now in the feet. And we're going to keep our hands on our thighs today for our cat and cow. So as we inhale and fill up the belly, we arch that back. Those hands might slide a little bit back towards you. And then as you exhale, you're bringing that belly button back to the spine. You're going to separate those shoulder blades, drop the chin, and the hands might slide up to the knees. So sliding those hands back and forth along the thighs, again, bringing that sense of awareness, of touch, Hands to top of the thighs as we do our cat and cow. And after your next exhale, come back to that nice tall spine, both feet on the floor, sitting bones on the chair. Get a little taller if you can. And let's bring our palms out in front of us, palms up, bringing thumb and pointer finger together. So right here, right now, just rub them together. Notice what that feels like. And then spread all five fingers wide, all ten fingers wide, and then thumb and middle finger. Inhale, spread them wide. Maybe stay for that exhale, and then we're going to bring our thumb and ring fingers together. Maybe, you know, touch them a few times, slide back and forth, feel that sensation. Inhale wide, and then thumb pinkies. And then go wide again. Yeah. And we'll just do that. Going from pointer to middle to ring to pinky and then back down, ring, middle, pointer. And you can go as quickly or as slowly as you want. And if you go a little bit slower, it becomes, becomes much more a meditation on the sense of touch. If you go faster, it's a little challenge, like, uh-oh, what am I doing? Am I getting them all? So see where you want to be today. Let the arms be soft so we don't want to add tension into the shoulders. We just want to bring that awareness to the fingertips right now. And then whenever you've finished, pause, let the hands rest in your lap. Take a breath. We'll reach our left hand forward and let's take our right thumb into the, the palm of the hand and just give yourself a little massage here. So just a little massage, make sure you maybe pull the fingers down away from the palm, just kind of feels good, yeah? And then move into the wrist and the forearm, perhaps the elbow, the outside of the upper arm up to the shoulder. Just giving yourself just a little massage on the arm. Let that feel good. Notice what it feels like. Just be with it. Come back to the hands and the fingers if you like. And then back to that thumb in the center. And pause with both hands in the lap and notice how different one side to the other is. Like, wow, why didn't I do this earlier, right? We do the other side. So you take that left thumb, you bring it into the center of your right palm. And again, just a little massage. As hard or as soft as is right for you today. And then take that, you know, I just kind of like to go, I just go to the outside, the edges of my fingers, and just kind of pull them away from my palm, just real gentle. It just feels good. And then that massage moves to the wrist and the forearm, the elbow, the upper arm, outside of the upper arm just feels good, and then up to the shoulder. 
and you can make your way all the way back down back to the wrist back to the hand the fingers wherever you want to go whatever needs your attention right now and when you finish that out oh, pause with both hands back in the lap and just notice how wonderful that feels imagine the elbows are a little bit heavier and they're helping to pull these shoulders down away from your ears on our next inhale let's open those palms wide let the elbows stay in at the ribs but just let open here let the shoulders come down maybe there's a little opening across the front of the heart center yeah stay for another big inhale and as we exhale let's just cross over one arm to the opposite fingers to opposite shoulders inhale open again and then cross different arm on bottom if you can remember right so pay attention inhaling open wide cross over tap inhale open cross over the other way and tap next round let's take the arms wide palms up yeah let the shoulders come down from the ears thumbs are reaching behind you and this time we're going to give ourselves a big hug so let's take that right arm across on top left arm on bottom give yourself a big hug this is a big hug now you're holding either your shoulders or back behind you or whatever it is but let yourself hug yourself drop your chin to your chest feel that stretch in the back of the neck and as you breathe feel the space between the shoulder blades get a little bit wider on the back next inhale let's open those arms wide thumbs reach behind us again maybe even lift the chin look up and then we're going to hug ourselves other arm on top so now it's your left arm on top we've got this hug happening it feels different on this side simply because that's the way we're made and then if you like drop that chin to your chest let the back of the neck be long don't forget to feel those feet on the floor next inhale open arms wide Bring them back down to your lap. Roll the shoulders up and back and down. Okay. And let's take our two pointer fingers on each hand, peace fingers. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give ourselves just a little temple massage because this feels good. So massage at the temples gently, gently, and then maybe move down to in front of the ear into the jaw. Again, releasing tension, feeling that touch, that kind touch that you are giving yourself oh yeah and then let those hands rest back down in the lap knowing that that's easy to do and you can do it anytime on our next inhale we'll reach those arms forward and let the shoulders come down from the ears so imagine you've got that beach ball between the palms we're sitting up tall we're pushing into our feet pushing into our sitting bones on our next inhale we'll take those arms up and over whatever up is today could be here could be here and then we're going to take our left hand over to the right and as we open that right hand out to the side we're going to slide left arm to the right side of the chest so just pause here perhaps turn your head look at your right thumb notice your fingers all active thumb reaching up we've got this nice turn in the neck and then let the head come back to center reach both arms back up take it the other way so sliding that right hand down the arm landing on the chest All right working with that proprioception where are we in space turn your head now turn the neck look at the thumb engage the fingers all the way out to the fingertips turn your head back to center reach both arms back up let's do it again just take it over turn and look let the next inhale take both arms up turn and look the other way inhale takes both arms up separate the palms turn them to face your screen and gently float them down to your lap roll the shoulders up and back and down okay both arms coming forward now same thing imagine you've got a ball between your palms we've got this tension here to keep the ball afloat right and then we're going to bring those palms together 
Now let's take our right arm and push it forward closer to the screen you're looking at. So the right hand is going forward, forward, forward. You're feeling a little twist in that upper back. And then we're going to drag that hand back. It's going to meet its neighbor and then keep dragging that right arm along the left and take a twist. So that arm might reach all the way behind you. It might reach out to the side, taking a gentle twist here, not forcing it, just finding your twist today. Bring that right hand back to heart center. Slide it all the way along your other arm so the palms touch. Let's do that again, same arm. Right fingers go beyond the left, and then we drag them back along the arm. Take them all the way to the heart center, and then open out to your twist, wherever that twist is today. Both feet are still on the floor, both sitting bones still evenly on the chair. Bring hand back to heart, slide that arm back down. Bring both hands back down to your lap. Pause for a moment. Notice how that feels. We'll do the other side. So we bring the palms up. We've got the beach ball between the palms, the beach ball balloon, whatever it is, and then bring the palms together. This time left fingertips reach past. You feel that little twist in the shoulders. Keep your ear down from your shoulder down from your ear. And then slide that hand back, slide it along the arm, bring it to heart center, and open into your twist. Let the shoulders come down from the ears. Bring that back arm, hand back to heart center, and then slide it forward on your arm. Pushing past the fingers, dragging it across the arm, across the heart, opening into your twist and then coming all the way back, yes. Let those hands rest in your lap, turn the shoulders up and back and down, and pause and notice how that feels, gentle twist. Okay, with our feet on our floor, on the floor, and we've, we're really solid here, maybe a little wider than our hips right now. So just a, a solid stance here. Let's, um, Let's we'll call this, I'm a little teapot. We'll bring our left hand to our hip, right arm down. So it's down and it's active. My fingers are working, right? They're not just limp. My shoulders, I'm sitting up tall. My shoulders are down from my ears. My chair still squeaks. Inhale, sit up tall. As we exhale, we lean over. This is, I'm a little teapot, right? There we go. Now, both sitting bones still on the chair, both feet still on the floor. Push into your feet, come on back up. So it's a side body stretch, but a real gentle side body stretch. So we're moving with our breath. Let that inhale take you over and exhale, bring you back. Okay, now this next one, we're gonna stay there. Stay there, I'm a little teapot. Option to take your teapot handle, bring the hand to the ceiling, bring the hand behind your head reach the elbow up see what's available to you today perhaps you could even reach that bicep over the ear big side body stretch now bring that hand back behind the head push into the feet engage the core come back up to seated release the arm down by your side we'll do the other side so right hand on the hip left fingertips reaching down actively sit up tall Inhale, slide down, I'm a little teapot. Exhale, come back. Let the whole body be a part of this. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel your sitting bones on the chair. One more down, yeah, stay here now. Options with this other arm, your right arm can go up. We can bring it here. If we bring it behind the head, then let's see if, if we can reach the elbow any higher. And if that's easy, then maybe we reach over, reaching bicep by the ear. Bring the hand back, push into the feet, sit back up. Let the hands rest in your lap. Roll the shoulders up and back and down. Okay. So let's stand up a little bit just to notice how the feet are feeling. So let's come to standing. We always have that option of using the chair. You can hold on to it. You can have it next to you. 
I'm going to stand here so that you can actually see me and my feet. Let me move that block. There we go. And let's take a stance a little wider than our hips right now. So we feel very stable. Let's pick up all 10 toes, spread them wide, put them back down. And then do a little shift side to side. So notice where you're feeling things here. Where's balance? Where's center? Maybe you find it. And then do a little front and back shift. See how that feels. Notice how if you come forward a little too far forward, those toes clench. And then go back and see if you can pick the toes up from the clenching. So gentle movements, front, back, side to side. Maybe you want to make a circle. Again, we can use the chair. We can use the wall if that helps. Just noticing our feet connected to the floor right now. What sensations do you feel in the sole of your foot? Now we're going to move, we're going to march just a little bit. We're going to bring our hands to our thighs, similar to the way we're moving our, our hands on our arms. Now we're going to move hands on thighs. Stand up tall. You can bring one hand to the chair, no problem. But we're going to lift up one knee and slide that hand down the thigh. And then bring it right back down. And if you're using your chair, just stay. We'll do three on this side. So it's a little bit of a balanced posture, one-legged balance. A little bit of movement, and again, all of that proprioception. Where are we in space? Bring it down. And then we're going to switch to the other side. So if you need to move to the other side of your chair, go ahead and do that. Hand on the thigh. When you're ready, lift up the leg. Slide your hand down the thigh. Just noticing where you are. This is telling the body, oh, this is how far my leg goes when I lift it that way. One more like this. Bring it down. Wiggle out those hips. Come back to your chair. Keep your block close by. Get that tennis ball. So, <clears throat> this is, if we have our tennis ball, we're rolling back and forth on one foot only, right? We're sitting down. We're not going to stand on the tennis ball. We're just keeping it real safe. If you don't have a tennis ball and it is within you to bring that foot up, then we're going to do the same thing we did with our hands. We take the thumb into the arch and we do that self-massage. For this, I would like to put my other foot on the block. It helps me sit a little bit taller. Yeah, so either, ooh, and then you can even get into your ankle. You are either massaging the sole of your foot with the tennis ball or you're doing it with your hands and you're just taking your time and noticing how it feels. And I think it feels darn good. And separate those toes if that feels right. Maybe another moment here. Evening things out, doing what it is that you need to do on that one foot. And then pause, pause with the tennis ball, pause with the self massage. Notice how your feet might feel different one from the other. And then we're gonna to move to the other foot. So again, if you are using the tennis ball, you're gonna go back and forth. You're gonna make long swaths, right? From the heel to the toes. But you're gonna keep moving across the foot. So it's not just big toe to heel every time, but you're gonna make your way over even to the pinky toe side of your foot. And then once you've done all of that, you might do some crossways massage. So all of this is available to you. If you have a tennis ball, golf ball works too. This is the kind of thing you can keep next to the chair that you watch TV in. And you can do this while you're watching TV too. Okay, so work that out. Again, we can come to the massage again. If that feels better, you can even do both. Ooh, what an idea. But your thumb is going into the center of that arch giving yourself a massage, you're bringing those toes, just kind of gently pulling them away from the foot, <sighs> massaging into the ankle, the heel, all over. Yeah, and when that's done, whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's self-massage or using the tennis ball for self-massage, when you've finished, we'll release, we'll put both feet down on the floor or the block. And notice what we've done. 
Notice sensations in the feet. We'll sit back in our chairs now and we'll come back to that gesture with the right palm in front of the, on top of the left, thumbs matching, thumbs touching. Rest the palms in your lap, back to the hands in your lap, sorry. Close your eyes and take a moment to notice how you feel after this focus on our sense of touch. Bring your awareness to all of those places that we touched with our hands. That massage we gave to the hands, the wrists, the forearms, elbows, upper arms. Notice that massage you gave to your face to release tension in the face. Notice how the feet feel different because we touch them and release tension. And then return your awareness to your breath. Noticing it entering and leaving the body. We'll bring the right palm to heart center and put the left palm on top of that. Close your eyes and tuck your chin. And recall the intention that you set at the beginning of our practice. And then thank yourself for taking time to practice chair yoga today. Thank you for allowing me to guide you. We'll release those hands down by your lap. We'll blink open the eyes. We'll reach the arms forward and up, thumbs reaching up. And when we get there, we'll clap them together. Bring them down to heart center. Stay well, my friends, until next time.